Hey guys, this is the um, Evio Super Ticano uh, from Hobby King, which I have set it up for FPV with the pan and tilt mechanism, uh, DJI VTX FPV system uh, with the goggles too from DJI. And I just wanted to share my experience because some of the guys were asking whether uh, to share my experience with you guys. So it might help you if you wanted to set it up for FPV. All right, so this is the pen and tilt uh, mechanism with the DJI O3, of course. And uh, um, so I've removed the canopy, the clear canopy. Um, that's why I want to fly it, but you can still keep the canopy if you want it to look at more scale. Um, you can, um, I will show you the video from under the canopy. So if you wanted to, uh, uh leave the canopy on because um <clears throat> i don't want to do that because i don't have a fan and i don't want to cut off the hole for the airflow for the vtx because it gets very hot with the canopy so if you want to keep the canopy you have to do something you know cut a hole or something to for the airflow to cool uh, the vtx and uh, if you wanted to keep the canopy so i've my one, the camera is a little bit too high because I want to get more view um, um, when I'm in the air. Um, but if you want to keep the canopy, you need to set the camera low, this high. So it has to be this high, like here. And then the canopy is right over here. And then you will get a good vision from under the canopy at this height. Yeah, but if you leave it this high, it's still, uh, it's not going to touch the canopy. You can move the camera around, but uh, you know that this thing, this thing will cut a lot of vision. And plus it will also get a little bit blurry because of the angle of, of this area, the angle, your camera will be sitting here. So this area gets uh, very blurry. But if you set your camera lower this height, then you get a clear vision. I've done that. I've set up my camera lower. I tilt this one lower with uh, and um, um, with my appropriate ca camera angle. So I'm looking through here. And so I get a lot uh, clearer view um, if you want to do that. Uh, I will also I will also upload the video of the from the DJI goggle that I recorded when the canopy was on and when the canopy was off so you can decide whether you want to do that or not and apart from that I've also installed a GPS because I want to check the, the speed and everything um, while I'm landing so I want to find out the appropriate speed so I can get it right every time I land <coughs> And that's about it. Everything else is the same as everyone else. Um, um, now, like, I also have installed, like, um, I'm running iNav, yeah, sorry. It's not the same as others because most other people just uh, use the Spectrum without using iNav. But I'm using iNav with SpeedyV F405. Um, that's the SpeedyV. And there is a lot of room in here. Even I've installed the Jeep and the um, flight controller. You still have a lot of room and there that. All right. That's the F405 SPDV. This, this board comes with the airplane in stock. You normally they, you know, you um connect your receiver to this all the cables goes to your receiver but in my case all the cables from this board goes to my flight controller and i wanted to use the 6200 uh 6s uh, which is about 880 grams and and last night i haven't flown it yet so i just last night i checked my cg uh, 75 from the leading edge 75 mm and it was nose heavy 
so I might need to use a lighter battery or maybe I have to if I want to use this one then I have to put some weight right at the back to counterbalance the CG to make it level um, at the moment the wind is very very high it's very windy the uh, weather is no good so I haven't done any maiden yet and but I like it it looks clean nice a lot of room for your equipment okay so that's about it I've um, used this little fan from my old uh, fat shark camera uh, no, sorry, Fat Shark um, goggles that I modified like five years ago. But this one doesn't have enough power to cool the VTX. It, it still gets hot. You need something better. Um, all right, so that's about it. Apart from the GPS and the flight controller, and the FPV system, everything else is the same as everyone else on the internet. Yep. If you want, you can also take this one off and put another camera. If someone wants to see their body with the independently. And what else? All right, as far as the quality of the airplane, it's not as high quality as the FMS or Freewing, but it's good enough for the price because if they make it more better high quality than this, then they're gonna charge a lot more, which will stop many people from buying it. For example, look at this foam and rub like plasticky low quality front wheels it makes a lot of plastic noise there's no bearing like fms viper uh, 90 it's not like that so make a lot of noise see? and it's wobbly same as here see but the shock observing is good. The shocks, the struts are good. Nice. And the blades are also not really um, like balanced. You might have to balance it, but I haven't done any balancing because I don't have the tool, but still flies, all right. And what else? Apart from that, the quality of the foam is not as good as the FMS or uh, uh, Freewing, but as I said, for the price, it's good enough, you know. I don't want this plane to be more expensive, especially these things. See, these are like plasticky. See, if it was FMS or Freewing, it would have been like a stiff plastic something like that um, in Australia it cost about eight hundred and eighty dollars with free shipping but the Viper jet cost about twelve hundred and fifty so there is um, about four hundred dollars price different four hundred thirty dollars price difference um, but overall it's good for the price it's an excellent airplane I always wanted to have a prop driven airplane as well because I normally fly long, um, what do you call, long range FPV wings like that or jets, 90mm jets. But I will always wanted to have a nice scale looking uh, prop driven airplane as well 
Uh, there, there is a lot of other airplanes uh, which are prop dr driven in the market, but I don't like them because they are not tricycle. They are like tail dragger. I don't like tr tail draggers because they tip over and you can't really lend them scale, uh, especially in the windy condition. But this one, I've seen a lot of people landing very nice, especially me. It should be very um, easy for me to land this thing because I always nail the landings on, on my jets. So I'm comfortable with scale landing on a tricycle setup. All right, what else? Good lights, the lights are good. It's bright and I would suggest you to get one of these if you like scale airplane prop driven. That's all about it. I will upload the Maiden as well when the wind settles down a little bit. At the moment it's between 30 to 50 kilometers an hour and plus gusty, which I don't want. I don't enjoy flying in that sort of condition. All right. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good luck with your Avio Super Tucano. All right, so here is the view uh, from the FPV camera, DJI O3 from the cockpit. Uh, this is how it looks like with without the can uh, without the clear canopy. Now I've put the clear canopy on, and uh, this is how it looks like. Now I have set up this camera lower, um, at the lower position that I normally don't fly that low position. So now I'm gonna set up the camera higher, uh, at a higher position, which will give you a little bit worse view now because that plastic thing is cover covering uh, blocking the view and as well um, the blurriness of the plastic has increased because my camera is on a higher angle so i suggest if you want to keep the canopy on you need to put the camera as low as possible so you can get a better view uh, I, I like myself, I like it uh, without the canopy because I want the most view. Um, yep, without the canopy, that's the best way to go for me. All right. All right, now I'm outside the room and this is how it looks like from the FPV uh, camera view with the canopy on. My camera is set up on a high posi higher position than normal uh, because I want to view from a higher angle because I don't want to keep the canopy anyway. But as I said, if you want to keep the canopy, you need to set up the camera at a lower lower position so you can get a better view. Um, in my opinion, the canopy itself, uh, the plastic does not affect much the view. It's just the angle of the camera. As you can see straight ahead where the propeller is, it's too much blur there and distorted. Yeah, for me, definitely, I don't want the canopy. I want the most clear, the clearest view of the FPV, which makes it easy for me to land and take off and enjoy the bird view, bird's view. Yeah, so now the canopy is completely off and this is the outside of my house and the view is excellent 
uh, it has enough pan towards the right and left to see my flaps and ailerons uh, before takeoff to check and it also looks a lot better at uh, when the camera is on a higher angle uh, I like it this way.